Hey guys, this is going to be a really quick tip. I get a lot of complaints that a lot of people want to make a mask, and instead of making a mask, they'll come up here and they'll hit this button thinking they got the mask button, and then they'll go through, and I'm just going to roughly do this real fast here, and they'll go through and they'll think, hey, okay, I'm going to make me a mask around this, no problem, and let's go on around here, and let's pretend we're spending a lot of time doing this. Because when you're making a mask professionally, usually you spend quite a little bit of time doing it compared to what I'm doing here. But regardless, I think this is going to get the point across. And when I click the close, what the heck? What happened? Well, I made a shape. I didn't make a mask. I made a shape. Aw, oh, crap. You know, so if you have all ever went through a tedious project and made a tedious mask shape and all of a sudden you realized oh crap I just made a shape I didn't make a mask what you need to do is go to um, select your your shape that you made go to object and come all the way down here convert to mask and boom that converts it into a mask and it's that simple this is one of those great little features that's hardly noticed and hardly used but is indispensable at saving you time when you do need it. I hope this little quick tip has helped um, to tide you over into our next video because I've got a few in the works. It's just I'm rather busy at this time of the year, so I'm working on it. Thanks for being patient. See you next time.